saw how we blossom. Yes. Now we now came to this place, a most unlikely place for anything to work. See how everything's working. Don't miss your place. Don't become a displaced person. It can be miserable. If God has shown you this place as your place, disregard distance, disregard human comments, carry your kaya and move. And settle down there. It's your place. Can I hear your amen? amen. This, my son, return amazing, humbly, dangerous testimonies. Dangerous. Because he found his way back to his place. You won't miss your place. Amen. So if God shows you this place as your place, settle down here. We are not the only place. But if this is your place, it's your place. Can I hear your amen? amen. Proverbs 27 and verse 8. As the bird wanders from our nest, as a bird wanders from our nest, so is a man that wanders from his place. He becomes a wanderer out of his place. He becomes a wandering star. He's ordained a star in his place, but he becomes a wandering star outside of his place. Today we're looking at the uh, third part of this teaching series, Gateways to Financial Fortune. And I want to start by saying that the subject of financial prosperity is a specific mandate for this commission. The Lord said to me, arise, get back home, and make my people rich. Clean, clear, with a connotation of urgency that made me to cancel all of my appointments that I had on that trip to U.S. and rush back home as if it was a switch to turn and then people would be enriched. So it's a mandate. And I can tell you, because God is ever true to his word, how many destinies have been buried out of penury, lack and want into a life of financial affluence today. I came back and the first place we went for a seminar on the subject was my degree. Breakthrough seminar. God told me, get back home, make my people rich. We started in my degree. Now, many can tell where they were when they came here and where they are now. Do you have a witness in the house? It's not by the expertise of any man. It's just God confirming his word get back home, make my apple rich. And I said, what do I have, my God? Then he showed me 2 Corinthians 6.10, as poor and making many rich. Okay, let's go. So it's a mandate. So it is the right of everyone in this place to prosper. Amen. When God brings you here, he wants to add prosperity to your identity. For faith is that call it the who also will do it. Who also will do it. That's why prosperity is our global identity today. How many agree with that? Prosperity is our global identity as a commission. You mean you are embarking on the 100,000, you know, stadium-like sanctuary? Covered? Full air condition? And everybody's relaxed? And refreshed without pretense. Without pretense. My God wants to stamp a seal of prosperity on your life here. Your head will not reject it. Your head will not reject it. At the same time, uh, rural churches are going on in their numbers. We have crossed the, the, the 1,000 1, mark of those buildings. 
Simcon. Because of 524, faith is that called the who also will do it. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2, 4. Very shortly, I'll be using those quotes. we we'll go and find out the Bible. <laughs> Amen. You have been here for too long. Say 524, you can go to Genesis if you want. <laughs> Amen. So it's God confirming his word. It's not anybody's skill or expertise. And I know the reason he brought you here is to rescue you from the siege of lack and want. And it must go off from you. Yeah. We are not a collector's ministry. Somebody brought his car in, uh, car in, and I saw the car going out and coming, and I said, hey, who has that car? He said, somebody brought it, I said, see. I said, call that person for me, I want to see her. Or whosoever. So they brought her, and I said, hey, um, Who are you, please? And he mentioned this name. Not long ago, lost the husband. What of the children? They are fine. I said, the Lord spoke to me to give this car back to you with a blessing. The children must not be trapped going to school. And you return with it like you return with Isaac. But this hand will never know lack anymore. She came back her name months after. Jumping and shouting. That's how we live here. We are not a collector's ministry. We are a distributor's ministry. Praise God. 